What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Alec and today's video we're going to be doing the install of the West Coast saw kit um, on my Holtzforman G466. We're going to do the install. Um, we're going to do what it sounded like with the uh, stock exhaust on it, the bark box, see if we get any performance gains out of it. So stay tuned for that. <clears throat> All right guys, this is just a few things that come in the kit. So you got your 046 kit. That's everything that comes in it. You got the bark box. The West Coast saw felling dogs, the felling dog hardware, chain roller, and a four inch sticker. So here's some of this stuff as it was packaged real nice. Um, here's your chain catcher. You got your mounting hardware for your felling dogs. The felling dogs, they're really nice quality, thick, they're not flimsy. Um, and then we have our bark box. So I already have the saw disassembled. I'm gonna install everything and uh, we'll start it up here out sounds here soon. All right, so first, we're going to install our uh, dogs on the outside of the cover. This one already comes with two holes. Sometimes you have to pre-drill these holes, so that's good to know in case you get it. We're going to just pop these guides off without stabbing myself. Set them right here. And then we have our hardware for the outside in this baggie if I can get it open so if you look in here the bolts will go and they fit perfectly right with the hex set them in there we put our rubbers back on our guides that one goes in there one goes in there just like that we'll flip it over and we can put our outside one on so that will bolt just straight in there like that get our two screws screw them on if i can get it now we're just taking we're going to take a 5 16 uh socket with a quarter inch ratchet just tighten them up like this get them hand tight all right they don't have to be that tight just because the covers plastic all right now we have this on looks nice bolts are in there you don't want to go too hard because you're going to end up cracking the plastic on this so just something good to know now we are going to put our chain guide on so here's our pieces right here. So we're gonna go put this guy on here, put our nut on the outside like that. I'm just gonna use these pliers to hold it because that's what's near me. Just tighten that up too. Nice and tight. Put our guide on. Put our pin in here. Something to just tap that on with. I'm just going to use a socket. Just like this. Alright, make sure that's all the way down there. And then that one is complete for the cover. Set that off to the side. Let me move some of this stuff for the saw there. So now we're going to do the saw dogs. We'll get them on. Use my ratchet. Take this one off. that off and get the bolt stuck down there and get my pick it's always something there it is almost did it again we'll set that down then this one 
just has a bolt on the other side loosen that up screw that off All right, take this bolt out. Now we can take this puny little dog that this saw comes with. This thing is uh, tiny, we'll just compare. This is the West Coast saw. This is the one that came on it. It, honestly, if you get a wood, it start hitting the cage though. And it's nice to have these, it'll help protect it. So we'll set that off to the side. Put this one on, just like this. And we'll put our chain catcher in there, just like that. Let's get started. There we go. Tighten this thing up. Don't tighten it up too much, though, because then you won't be able to get that on that upper bolt all right we'll tighten that up right there then we will put our other one in or not get that on there if I can Hold out my pliers. Like I said, you can use a wrench if you want to be right, but I'm just going to use these for now. Turn it nice and tight. Go over this one. Tighten it up. You don't want to go too crazy, but you don't want it too loose. There we go. All right. So now, next install we're going to do is we are going to put. The bark box on now. Loosen these up. Just like this. Get our bottom one. Take these off. I believe they're all the same size. I don't think one's longer than the other one. I think they're all the same. Nope, that one's shorter. That one goes up top, bottom. Short one up top. And then get this bottom one off. <clears throat> This one out of here. All right, that one's the same. So two tops are short. Let's get this guy out of here. Looks pretty good in there. Cylinder looks good. All right, we'll open up our bar box now. Oh, thing looks great. Looks real nice. Much better than this. Uh, old exhaust that came off here so we'll get this thing lined up just like that actually you know what I wanted to do I'm just gonna put a little blue loctite on these so they don't come on out and if I drop that Just a little smidge as I get it on my hands. And wipe that off. All right. Okay, 
snug that up just a little bit. Put a little Loctite into my bottom bolt. One in there, a little bit on the other one. Stuff kind of coming out a little fast. Get that one in there. All right, we'll put a little bit on our last little short one. snug all these up I don't have to go crazy but turn I want to see what this thing looks like now with it on. Wind right up. This thing looks great. Just going to put our bar nuts on. And there we have it. Well, looks real nice. The nice thing too is the dogs down here help the saw set level. Looks really nice, much better than uh, the stock dogs that came on. Well, stock dog, just this puny thing again. Bark box looks super nice, great quality. I can't wait to start it up and put it into some wood. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna do that hopefully tomorrow here and uh that'll stop the install i'll see you guys tomorrow what's going on guys welcome back for uh day two today we're gonna run the saw in some wood we're gonna see how it does i just sharpened up the chain a little bit and i uh, just did a quick test run with it and it seems to be running real good gonna have to do some slight tuning here and there but we'll get to that in, the, in a future video possibly so let's get to cutting some wood here
All right, so first impressions right at the bat. Definitely more responsive than with that stock exhaust on it. The dogs do a great job too. Really can feel them digging into that wood. Um, but those old dogs before, they were so low. You know, if that log went in and caught, you know, it would just jam. You'd hit the case right here. So it's nice. They help protect the case right there. Um, just gonna do a couple more cuts here on another piece. sounds better it looks better those dogs do a great job digging into the wood much better than the stock ones that came on this saw so overall i'm real happy with it i would buy it again for the next saw i get so thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe thank you